Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how we can use uh, Ad Blaster in conjunction with Keyword Intent so that we can get the best results. Okay, so what we ultimately trying to do here is use the placement tool and that placement tool um, campaign is going to give us a whole bunch of different videos that are relevant to the searches that we have been doing in Keyword Intent. Okay, and also we can look at the channels from those placements as well. We can separate all the channels that created that video content. So what we're gonna do is just go over into key, uh, Keyword Intent and I'll show you um, a good way to use this. And you can see here we've done a basic search of Keto and I've used the word best. Now if we come back over to the slides over here, you can see I'm doing some things with the comparison in here. So comparison keywords would be best, top, versus, review, etc. compare, comparison. Um, so I'm gonna take that first word, best. I'm not gonna go through all of these because the video would be too long, but the process is gonna be similar. Okay, so you can see from doing this search under the best filter, if I scroll down here, you can see I've got 500 keyword phrases come back. But you'll notice that some of these don't have the word best in them. So all we need to do is simply come back up to the top and we can say, make sure it includes the word best. Okay, now when we've done that, if I scroll back down the bottom now, you can see we've got 281 results, okay? But these are all in different sub niches. You can see some are for um, recipes and some are for snacks and some are for vegetables, etc. So what we can do is simply put a comma and we can put in another word, okay? Another keyword, so I'll put recipes this time. And here we can see we've pulled back 35 different keyword phrases with the word recipe. So if I check box all of these, come over here to copy to the clipboard, and then we can go over into the Ad Blaster tools. Okay, now one of the things I could do here is go into the Tag Grabber. I can start a new project, I can put all my keywords in here, and I can put in here Keto and Best. Okay, I'm gonna put a hyphen in here, then the word Best, because probably it would be a good idea to do separate campaigns for different things. So I might have Best for um, uh, recipes, and I might have best for vegetables and best for snacks, etc. If I do it like this, then I can see the niche first and then what my modifiers and what my campaign is about. So here we can go and search the top 50 pages. If I keep that at 50, I'm going to bring that down to the top 10 pages and I'll pull back the top 50 tags which is a combination of the most common tags used in these top 10 results. In fact, let's make this top 15 results and we can add the project, okay? Now we can just start to scrape and it's gonna pull back the top 50 tags by going through the top 15 videos for every single one of these keywords, okay? Every single one of these is gonna pull back the top 15 results, pull back all the tags and then the top 50 tags between all of them for all of these keywords is what's going to appear here. You can see it's starting to populate now. And it's going through all of these and it's pulling back. You can see keto, keto recipes, keto diet, etc. These are the most common used tags. And we can take all of those and we can put them directly into the placement tool, but I'm gonna do some filtering before I do that. Once it's finished um, doing, doing its task, I need to give it a couple of minutes. Okay, so you can see it's finished now, but you'll see in here there's a lot of one word answers here that are not um, relevant. So what I wanted to do, to do is, I'm gonna make sure it's got the word kettle in this title. Okay, so we can click on that. That brings us down to 20 eight keywords. In fact, I've just removed if it doesn't contain. Um, let me cancel that and remove that. I need to do that one more time. This time I'm going to say if it doesn't contain the word kettle, remove it. And that gives us 22 keywords with the word kettle in it. Okay, so I'm not getting that much coming from this from the top tags. Maybe I should have done uh, a larger volume of tags returned. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take those keywords that I had from here and I'm going to copy them and go into the placement finder. I'm going to start a new project. Okay, and I'll put this, these keywords in here and I'll call this one Kettle Recipes 
this, okay? Something like that, as long as you understand what it is. Now here we don't want to disable monetized uh, uh, videos that have got monetization enabled. We want to make sure all of the videos it pulls back has got monetization enabled. This is really important, especially when, when we want to do the um, channel placements as well from this, because usually if you've got one video that is uh, monetized, then often the whole channel will be monetized, which gives us even more reach at that point. So I'll click on this and I'll start processing and hopefully get results that we want. And just coming quickly back over to the tag grabber, um, probably I should have made more tags available here and maybe I should have made this top 20 results. But when we come down here, we can see there are some reasonably decent keywords, but it's not nearly um, the same volume as what we got from the keyword intent. So I'm just going to leave these because these are probably within here anyway. Okay, some niches you will find this works really well, especially if you're doing things like product um, product um, promotions, um, JVZoo kind of promotions, Warrior Plus, ClickBank. Um, these can be very, very good um, to use the tag grabber at that point. Um, but for now, for this um, particular niche, it didn't quite work out with the settings that I had, but it's no big deal because we had covered ourselves initially from keyword intent anyway. So now come back over to the placement tool and you'll see this is still populating. Right now we've got um, just coming up to 400 results coming back. And once that's done, I need to delete the duplicates, okay? And then we're gonna do some filtering to make sure this is absolutely spot on. And then from that point forward, we can export all of the video URLs and we can use those for placements targeting. And then what we can do is we can click on the delete again after we have deleted duplicates and we can then delete duplicate channels and that will leave us um, with results with all different channels. Okay, so let's go and do that process there now. Okay, so first click on delete and delete any duplicate videos. We're gonna have a lot of crossover. So from 615 videos, we're down to 216, okay? So what we would do then is we would check box all and we would export to CSV and click on export filter to give us the 216. So I've got kettle, best recipes, 216, okay? Now, before I did that, I should have can make sure that I come in here and put in here if it doesn't contain the word kettle to get rid of it. I forgot to do that, so I'm just going to do that now. We'll do it again. So we've got 179. Okay, this is specifically about kettle recipes, but that's not the part where the power is with this one. The power comes in with the channel placements. You will find when you've been doing YouTube ads for a while, channel placements far outperform the video placements. Okay, they far outperform the video placements for especially for niches like this because people doing videos about kettle have people watching other videos on the channel and they're interested in not just kettle recipes but other aspects about kettle whether it's about diet fitness whatever it might be um, that other topics within their channel you will find that there's a lot of crossover there so we can tap into that and we can build our audiences um, pretty much on autopilot as long as we just continue to drive traffic even if it's low cost um, cost per day, um, spend per day, even if it's as little as $10 per day, $5 per day, you can continue to keep building your audiences from the remarketing audiences that are being built. And then you can do better marketing with those remarketing audiences. There's multi a multitude of um, campaigns that you can do, whether it's coming from um, doing Google search ads or redoing YouTube ads with a, a different video, or whether you want to use that retargeting audience to get clicks over to, you, to your website, for example. Okay, so we've got 179 results here and every single one of these has got Keto. So I'm just gonna um, uncheck and check it again. Make sure I export the filters and I'll call this one Keto Recipes Best. 179 okay so i understand what that's about now next what we want to do is we want to come in here and delete duplicate channels and that brings us down to 86 different channels some of these channels might have hundreds of videos that gives you a bigger reach that you can use okay so this is how we can use this efficiently that's what makes the ad blast the placement tool different from every other tool we have that filtering we have that ability we have that reach we have that accuracy that we can do and we have the volume as well Okay, don't be fooled by only 86 results here. This is huge because this is pinpoint accurate. This is how you can build really targeted audiences 
very, very fast using YouTube ads that you can get for as little as a penny per click. All you have to do is you set your campaign budget and you also set the um, cost per view budget, cost per click budget to as, something as little as five cents and you'll be surprised most of those views will come in around about one or two cents cost per view okay so we've got massive reach here absolutely massive reach with these 86 so what I'll do is I'm going to check box all of these and I'm going to export filtered and I'll put in here keto best recipes channels okay and that gives me 86 channels that we can use so that's perfect for building the audience then do some remarketing campaigns whether you're doing some kind of um, promotion for um, some cost per action offers, uh, click bank offers, whatever it might be, you're building an audience there that you can tap into any time that you like. Okay, good stuff. So um, next video, I'll cover how we can use um, Ad Blast the placement tool with, let me see what's next. Let's see, with the tag grabber, we're gonna use double dipping on the tag grabber. Watch that video, it's actually very, very interesting. This strategy, how we can use this for accuracy and volume and Ultimately, we, we will be using this to build a remarketing audience. Okay, so watch how we do that in the next video.